Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks to someone amazing in the community. His name is Jeffrey on Instagram. He got in touch after my recent Joker video and he said I heard you saying that you wanted to upgrade your outfit at some point for your Joker. And he said he had a Topo 2.0 Joker outfit spare with body that he wasn't using and that he wanted to send it along for me to do an upgrade on my figure and I couldn't believe it because I went and looked on YouTube there really wasn't many YouTube videos of the outfit but what I did see looked very promising so I got back in touch with him and made sure he was absolutely certain he wanted to do it and he was and just absolutely amazing gestures Jeffrey if you're watching thank you so much man I am going to show you how my Joker looks uh, before and after I think I'll leave all the DX11 Hot Toys clothes on the DX11 body here. The only thing that isn't DX11 here is the head sculpt. Uh, it's a custom head sculpt that was sent to me by Stephen Maurice at Trespass Customs. Uh, so I think I'm just going to get the new body that Jeffrey included with the Topo 2.0 uh, outfit. And I'm just going to put it all together and then I'm just going to take the head from this one and put it on. And I'll show you side by side the difference uh, in the colour. I haven't really seen these yet next to each other this will be the first time I'm looking but that definitely looks like a massive upgrade in the coat department so very cool Got a nice gold chain on this as well but yeah thank you again Jeffrey this is an amazing thing man thank you so much I'm sure it's gonna make this Joker look so much better and then yeah we'll just check out the results very soon I'm gonna get to work on putting it together but drop a like on the video for me say thanks to Jeffrey in the comments if you can and I'm going to get stuck in now. Thanks again, Jeffrey. This is amazing. Absolutely blown away. I really like the look of the hands. Obviously, the gloves are on there, but the detail's really good on these. That's a big upgrade right there. And there's the shirt. And there's a tie. shoes nice and solid different in color to the DX11 and the DX11 shoes parts of those shoes are starting to get a little bit of damage now I've noticed I don't know if I'll be able to show you but um, no it's not really gonna come across but I just noticed some of the material on his shoes were starting to he doesn't want to stand up. He never wants to stand up on his own. Um, but yeah, the shoes are a different tone. Socks look really nice. I love the look of the pants. They do seem to be a different colour to the DX11. Pants here, a bit more purple. I have had the DX11 for a long time. I think I was quite late getting it, but I've still had it for years and years. There's the vest. And my favourite thing about it is the coat. I haven't seen it on a body yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be very cool looking and very accurate. Well, that's good. I just tested the custom head sculpt to see if it goes on the body that Jeffrey provided. And it does. It goes on the body absolutely perfectly. Not sure if that's just a body that Jeffrey included or if it came with the outfit. I think he just included that. So Jeffrey, again, thank you for including a body as well. You didn't have to do that, man. Didn't have to do any of this. A very selfless act. Didn't ask for a shout out or any of that stuff. Just wanted my Joker to look a bit better. So thank you. So the vest has these kind of notorious kind of hook um, set up here for closing the vest. It's it's quite scary apparently and quite hard to do. Thankfully the, the actual shirt doesn't have that. The shirt's magnets um, and I've heard some people complaining about the magnet aspect of this and how they don't really stay done up and can be quite frustrating but I'm going to put it together, we'll see. So we've got magnets on the shirt and the kind of hook set up on the vest. Now before I put the jacket and coat on, I'm just going to show you how it looks with the shirt, the tie and the vest. Really high quality clothing and everything looks really accurate. I like that you can see the socks coming through there, the shoes are good and sturdy, stands well even with the turned up toes at the front. 
which is always an issue for Heath Ledger Joker figures because of that design of the front of the foot there but these are good and sturdy and the vest with that magnet no, sorry not magnets the shirt that has the magnet that is a bit of a nightmare because it just won't stay in place they're not the strongest magnets and you know once you start trying to put the vest on and do the vest up the magnets are just going to go do their own thing but those hooks on the vest they're a problem you know it's definitely not easy to work with if I was sure I was never going to change the body on this I'd just glue that shut but I don't know if I'm going to stick with this body it seems to be great for this figure I mean all the proportions look really good but yeah it's not easy working with the the hooks on the vest but it looks fantastic so far I'll just give you a little close up on the pattern of the shirt here I'm no expert on this but I did see a video on YouTube where I think it was the folks from Topo themselves going into great detail about why they chose what they did and all the research that went into it does look very good so now I'll put the jacket and coat on and complete the look but so far I'm really really impressed with this outfit this was just funny I, I don't know how this happened but I was um, I was just fiddling around with the figure trying to get it to look right and he fell forward like just tipped forward and somehow his <laughs> socks and shoes stayed exactly where they were and he's on my lap now down here but he just tipped forward and that's what remained on the base okay now it is some time later I've been sitting here for probably about an hour just had me phone to the side listening to podcasts and other random things and I was just taking my time and had the Dark Knight soundtrack playing at one point just putting the, the jacket and the coat on I love the color of the coat, I love the fit um, I wish maybe it had a bit more of a wire situation going through the lining at the front and down the ends just so you could control it a little bit better it looks pretty good on the screen right now but it was um, his left side here was really kind of sticking out in a weird way but I've um, just futzed with it and spent some time trying to get it to just lay more naturally but it's a beautiful material and a really nice color so I'm very very happy with how it's looking the hands are really really detailed I love those I love everything about the outfit they've done a really good job of it and the custom head is looking fantastic on the setup it all comes together really well it's all worked out fantastic and thank you again Jeffrey for the outfit and the body man this is absolutely incredible I'll just get some footage of it rotating for you you can see how it looks at the back I mean from the waist up I think it looks absolutely fantastic I just wish I could control uh, the ends of the coat a little better they will just kind of do what they want to do it's very thin material so well not very thin but you know it doesn't really have there's no way to kind of really control it it just is what it is I'm going to try and come up with a pose that makes it all come together and work better like I might bring the arms across and have him I don't know with his arms quite with his hands quite close together at the front to try and bring the coat in a little bit but then I'm worried it will make the ends kind of puff out but I'll figure it out there's definitely an improvement over what I had going on on the display with the DX11 this is a much better outfit and I was just looking on eBay you can get these Topo 2.0 Joker outfits pretty easily on eBay folks so unless you're planning on waiting for the upcoming Hot Toys DX which looks fantastic but you know if you just want to upgrade a joker you already have this outfit is a really good option all right so now i've got him holding on to the gun with both hands kind of allows me to close the coat up a bit better it's not flaring out at the ends as much as i thought it might and it's looking pretty good The collar that goes around the back of the neck is really movie accurate looking on this. 
Just love the tone of purple. Really, really good. But I'm going to change the pose up. I need to find something I'm really happy with for the display on the shelf. So I'm going to keep going until I find the right pose for this look. I've only got so many accessories I can use with the Joker here. I've got some cards you could hold. I've got the knives. All right, now I'm really happy with how this is looking with the hands coming forward like this. But I think I'm going to change up that open hand to another hand holding a different knife. And then I'm going to settle on that and put them on the shelf. But what a massive upgrade. I know I keep saying it, but thank you, Jeffrey, man. This is amazing. Thank you so much. It's very, very kind of you. And now I... Now I really don't know what to do about the upcoming DX Joker because I've got the upgraded outfit. There's really no need for me now. But I'm not saying I won't get it. It might be interesting to just kind of Frankenstein together some kind of ultimate Joker, although this is pretty, pretty damn good now. Looks really nice. Let me know what you think in the comments, folks. I've done my best uh, getting the outfit to stay together. Every time we move the arms, the vest comes undone. So you have to kind of open it up and get back in there again and hope that you can get the hooks to, to latch on. But it looks fantastic. Let me change out that hand now, get the double knives, and I'll finish up the video. Sorry, I was just taking some pictures at this certain angle here and it just looked really nice. So I'm just going to grab some footage from this kind of slightly side view. I haven't moved the figure, I'm just kind of leaning to the left. It just looks really nice. I love the color of this coat. Finally satisfied with a Joker, you know, Heath Ledger Joker Dark Knight 160L coat. They've always been a problem. You know, the DX01 had its issues but was decent for the time. Uh, of course, there was the original MMS Joker that came out before that, DX01, which wasn't that great. And then the DX11 coat, which was serviceable, but had that bathrobe look to it. The color was a bit off, but this is fantastic. I'm pretty damn satisfied with everything about it. The shoulder area, you know, that kind of slight shoulder pad look. And the collar sitting nicely. Really nice high-end look to it. I love the hand sculpts as well. They're really nicely detailed. I love the texture on those. That's a massive upgrade. I just remember, I've got a Shadow Fergo Real Metal knife version of this. This is the DX11 one that he's holding, but I do have a Shadow Fergo Real Metal one somewhere. Beautiful. Lovely vibrant socks. I just wanted to try and get the gold chain to show because it's so nice but I think I kind of have to choose do I want the coat to look like it's kind of falling naturally like it's got some weight to it or do I want to open it up and try and expose that chain which you just can't see at the moment but it's just a nice you know you see the gold chain it breaks everything up a little bit it's a nice detail but maybe later I'll figure it out yeah I've just wedged his jacket and coat underneath the arm there just so I can show you the gold chain but I just don't think there's any way you're going to be able to see it so here is the DX11 body and outfit next to the new setup and um, the DX11 slightly lower than the new one here so don't worry about the height thing but working with the vest on the Topo 2.0 I'd rather work with the DX11 vest because the vest of the DX11 is perfect as far as you know you're only going to see what you can see here for what I've got intended I don't know this does look really good though it looks more realistic the way it all comes together I know I probably need to futz with it more and tuck things in here and switch things around there but um, it does have a very realistic, real shrunk down one six scale outfit feel and look and the way it sits on the body. It all looks very realistic, very natural. You know, um, so I think I'll just stick with the, the Topo 2.0 and not take anything from the DX11. Although the vest is frustrating, 
when I move over and look at it now, even though it's annoying with those little clasps that you need to attach it together with, it just looks more real on this one. I don't know. It's very minor stuff. Let's see if I can... He's going to fall over, I think, if I mess with this too much. But yeah. It's a great vest on the DX11. Nothing wrong with it, really. I think I'll just stick with this as a complete outfit now. It's really starting to come together. The longer the coat is on the body, it seems to be cooperating with me more. It's a bit easier now to get it to look a bit more natural. It just seems to be working out. Maybe it was just because it was lying flat in the packet for a while. Yeah, there's definitely a color difference with the coat, the pants, the jacket, the vest is a quite similar tone. Uh, the tie, quite dark on this one. A bit lighter on the DX11. It's a bit weird looking actually. And so is the collar area on the shirt. It's all looking a bit nasty and frayed. Where is this one? Way more sharp. I'm going to settle up on the just stepping forward slightly, double knives. It's a pretty cool pose. That's the way I'm going to put them back on the shelf. Thanks again, Jeffrey. This is amazing. What an upgrade to the figure. Can't thank you enough, dude. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video, folks. Drop a like on it if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, and follow me on Instagram at DeanNight333 for plenty of pictures and clips. And thank you for all of your amazing feedback and support on the Caustic Plastic Nosferatu review. Uh, he's up there, I need to find a proper spot for him, but even though we're so far away and he's surrounded by so many iconic horror characters, you can see he stands out. Just an amazing piece, folks. Honestly, that's maybe figure of the year, maybe figure of the decade. I can't think of another figure that's blown me away as much as this in a long while. Absolutely amazing piece. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, and I can't get over the hands. You know, no wrist pegs, none of that. Just absolutely amazing work. Check out the review if you haven't seen it. And the showcase video too of all the poses and stuff. But I will work him into the collection somewhere. He's going to have to have a nice spot. Just like this guy now. Alright. Now you put him back on the shelf and we'll finish up. And there he is on the shelf. I think the proportions, you know, head to the body, look really good. The Obviously the real hair on the sculpt is making him look super realistic. I love this new outfit. I love the purple coat. That's my favorite thing about it. It's just a beautiful tone. It's looking really, really good. I'll just give you a little sneak peek at some other stuff coming up on the channel soon, folks. So we have a couple of custom screen masks in 1-6 scale by Darko Customs. Got the original screen mask from the first movie and Scream 6 there. So I will be doing the whole you know installation process for that. It just involves removing the sideshow mask and getting a nail into the head sculpt that the custom masks have a little magnet in the back of them and then they magnetize to the nail and you're able to switch out masks between the original and Scream 6. That's going to be really cool. Here's Nosferatu again. He is just an amazing presence. Check out the hand action. I love it. I love the, the seamless look to the wrist and the hand. It just makes it so much more real. That's a hell of a horror icon to have up here with the rest of these guys. Yeah, had a lot of fun weathering Sam, but he's just too damn big. Doesn't matter how many DMs you send me, uh, not anyone in particular, because I did get about six different people sending me uh, various screenshots of real height converted to one six height, saying that this figure was actually accurate. Hell no, it's way too big. But uh, definitely a lot of fun to have him. All right, check out the Nosferatu videos and look forward to the Scream stuff coming up 
And thank you again to Jeffrey for making my 1-6 scale Heath Ledger Joker 10 times better. Looks absolutely fantastic and it's all thanks to you dude and Stephen Maurice with the head sculpt. Both of you guys really came through taking it to a whole new level. Big love to you. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye bye.